What's good? What's good? This is your whole Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode Stop Letting Her Waste Your Time. The other day, I went to go see my aunt. She works at a nursing home. And uh, in the nursing home, you know, I, I hate I hate going to see my aunt at this nursing home because every time I see her at this nursing home, I, I see other people who are very sick and like they're dying and they just it's like they waiting to die. But she's a nurse at this nursing home. So anyway, I went to go see her. And uh, when I went to go see her, she was actually working. She like she was moving something around. And she said, oh, okay, I'll be right with you. Wait for me right here. And she asked me to take like it was like a like a package, like like an Amazon package to an individual in a certain section of the nursing home. Now, in this section, it was like the hospice section. And for those who don't know what hospice is, it's usually like a place where people go and just get ready to die at. So this place was like a hospice section of the nursing home. So as I'm going there, and I'm taking this package to this individual, I'm thinking I'm about to see a dying man. I'm thinking I'm about to see a man who's in distress. A man who's sad. A man who's down. But what I saw surprised me. What I saw was an older man in his 90s with a smile on my face. I mean, I'm sorry, with a smile on his face as I gave him this package. He said, oh, thank you, young man. I appreciate that. I said, oh, no, no, no problem. You're welcome. So uh, while when, when I went into the room, he had the game playing. And then they were showing highlights of other games. So I was checking it out real quick. And I looked at him again. He was just so, so happy. And I asked, I had to ask him this question. Cause I'm thinking he was happy because one his his football team was winning, so I, I I said his name was Mr. Charles, I said Mr. Charles, if you don't mind me asking, I don't mean no disrespect, but can you tell me why are you so so happy? Why are you in such a good mood despite being in a place like this? He laughed and chuckled. <laughs> He said, if you don't mind, just have a seat right there. And I sat in the chair. He said, young man, the reason why I'm full of joy is because everything I wanted to do in life, everything I wanted to accomplish in life, I did it. And I had fun with it. And he said, now I'm ready to die. It shocked me for someone to say they ready to die with a smile on their on their face. Shocked me. I never saw it before. I mean, you might saw it in the movies, but it was always like in a negative context. But he really meant it, and he was really happy. He said, when he was in his thirties, he said. He made up his mind that he would not allow his time to be wasted anymore. He said, it is a privilege to be living on this earth. He said, is it, a, is it a, he said, it is a privilege to wake up every morning having the ability to accomplish anything you put your mind on. He said he had to cut off friends, family members who wasn't who wasn't helping him accomplish his goals and aspirations. He said he wasted no time. 
He said that he made a promise to himself in his 30s. Now he's in his 90s. And I said, wow, that's deep. That's deep. And I thought about it. I thought about all the time I be wasting. I think about all the time I wasted with jobs. With certain friends. With girlfriends. Relationships. I was wasting time in situations that I shouldn't be wasting my time in. I was giving my time to the wrong things. This is why I tell you. Stop wasting your time. You got to go out every day that you live. You got to go hard. Now, he didn't say he went hard, but listen to his words and how he described every day. Mr. Charles went hard. And guess what? My aunt confirmed that Mr. Charles, not only was he telling the truth, but Financially, he was a well-off. He's a well-off individual. Because this nursing home that I'm referring to is a very expensive one. It's actually a luxury one. To go out like that is beautiful. Because you wasted no time. See, he lived with no regrets. Think about that. He's living and he's getting ready to go, but he has no regrets. How many of y'all got regrets right now? How many of y'all wasting time right now at a job that you don't like? How many of y'all wasting time right now with a disrespectful girlfriend or wife in your life? You wasting time. You play, you, you letting her play with your time. This is not a game. This is why when you dudes call me for consultations about how to get your ex back, I don't even bother with that. Because it's a waste of time. You out here chasing females that curved you instead of chasing your dreams and aspirations. You're wasting time. So in closing, I want everybody to be like Mr. Charles. I need everybody to go hard every day like Mr. Charles. I need everybody to look at life the same way Mr. Charles looked at life. And that was he looked at life as a privilege and he did not take it for granted. And that was today's episode of Like the Comment. Subscribe. <laughs> and I'm going to catch you on the next go around, my nigga. Hello.